Michael, obviously we would have preferred different circumstances, but again, we left it all out on the park today. We'll speak about the first 45. Obviously the goal came a little early. We haven't really dug in yet. Caught us by surprise, but again, straight away, the passing, short triangles, short passing was great today. How do you reflect on that? Yeah, I mean, for 50 minutes, Dave, I thought we were fantastic. Uh, I thought we were the better team in the first half. Uh, and I think Alou, by far, by far the better team in the second half. So the way I analyse it, Dave, I thought we were really good for 50 minutes, but really poor for the other 40 minutes. Uh, we have to work on a lot of things this week because crosses into the box, we look very vulnerable. I appreciate we've not got the, the most experienced squad at the moment or the biggest height, uh, but we need to do better when the ball's on the other side of the pitch. Um, in relation to goal attempts, I think it was good today. Some of the combination play was very, very good. The press was good, um, but that was for kind of 50 minutes. And as soon as we conceded that, that second goal for us, that, that was a problem for us at that time. The, the goals, you know, they were well taken. Malik and Frankie especially, good turn into the bottom corner. Are you, are you happy to see the, the ball hit the back of the net? I know it's not been easy in the last few games. Yeah, I mean, I know it's, it's crazy because people talk about two half. That was literally it. If you speak to their manager, he'll say the same thing. I thought they were by far the better team in the second half. We were by far the better team in the first half. Moved the ball really slick in the first half, opened them up. Got some really good goals from Frankie and Malik. Good to see them get on the score sheet. I just want this young group to get a win. They really deserve a win. Some of the performances they've put in recently, and I know the last 30, 40 minutes they were, they were poor, but for the first 50 minutes they were really, really good today. Do you think the, the tempo and the, the press of the, of the game and you know, maybe got to them around the 60, 65 minute mark, maybe the, the legs are starting to wear a bit? Yeah, I think it's, it's difficult to ask these young guys to press for 97 minutes, um, but we have got quite a small squad. So for me, it's important that the squad get on the pitch, which was good today. Um, a lot of positive performances. I don't want to single anybody out at the moment because it's difficult when you lost 5 2 to praise people too much. But I look back at the Cove game, the Hamilton game, the game today, um, and they're close. They really are close, Dave. But this, this young wee group who've just come together for what, eight games now, they're doing the club proud. And I think that's important to mention. I know people are talking about the, the, kind of the losses and you sit on rock bottom of the table. This is not this young group's fault. They've been brought in here for eight, nine games. They've given everything for this football club. And I think it's important we mention that. And I think for us and for the fans, no, again, we're seeing it the same way you're seeing it. It's not so much that bottom of the table. It's not so much that, you know, we're losing the games. We're seeing the progression of these young lads on the park and how far they've come. Is that something you want other clubs to see, you know, going in seasons looking forward? Or we want to send our, our young lads there because they will get the coaching and the progression that we think they deserve? Yeah, I mean, if you look at some of these guys that came in in January, um, from if you look at them now, the progression is fantastic on an individual level. Uh, and also the fact that we're now starting to prepare for next year. I'm probably the only manager in Scotland right now who knows who he's going to be next season. Um, so we're preparing, uh, and I think it's important that we finish the season strong, keep competing, keep giving teams a, a tough time on a Saturday, um, because these young lads need that experience. They need to know what it's like at that intensity to play for the whole 97 minutes. Go on now to next week, Falkirk away. They have a chance to, to win the league, but we all know what happens when City go to Falkirk Stadium. It can sometimes be a bit of a banana skin for them. Are you looking to just go out and do the same as you did today? Yeah, and I mean, as I say, we played really good football last week at Hamilton, really good football against Cove for 50 minutes a day, some really, really good combinations. Um, and there's no pressure on these young lads. They've been told to go out and express themselves, give the energy we're looking for. And they're all in the short window right now. They're in the short window for us for next season. They're in the short window for the parent clubs to watch. Uh, and I know a lot of the clubs came down to watch the players last week and were really impressed with the style of play uh, and also the individual performances for these guys because you've got well, two 17-year-olds there, five or six 18-year-olds starting, three or four 19-year-olds. I think there's probably one of their players has got more appearances in professional football than my whole entire team. And for me, it's exciting to watch these young guys through. So I think it's important we keep that enthusiasm, that positivity um, right through to the end of the season. Thanks very much, Michael. Thanks, guys.